Hi friends, today we are going to draw cups of coffee. How we'll start is we're going to draw two different sizes, a short mug and a tall mug. So we'll start, you can pick whichever side of your page you'd like to start on. I'm going to start on my left side with the short mug. So what you'll do, you'll start at your point and you'll bring that line down and curve it slightly at the end. And here you'll make it straight for the bottom of the mug and just imagine, visualize a mug and that straight bottom. And then you can bring the other line from the top point all the way down, or you can continue that line that you were drawing all the way up. So you'll connect those two lines point to point with a slightly curved line, thinking of the top of a cup, of a mug. And then next you'll draw a line from, again, from the same point to point going to the back. So it'll cur it looks like it's the back or the other side of the mug. And so you'll just curve that slightly over. And then for the inside of the mug, we're going to add a line that's also slightly curved like that top or back line and that's going to be your coffee or your tea. And you'll just fill that on in. You can fill it in whatever color your liquid is going to be, whether it's brown or black for coffee or green for tea, or it could be pink or red, whatever, whatever color you like. Then we're gonna add the handle right over here. So I'm gonna start right here. You'll bring a short line out, bring it down. Think of as you're drawing an ear and you'll bring that right on into the cup. Then we're going to draw an additional line that looks exactly like the line you just drew. And you'll just cop follow that line, follow that line all the way into the cup again. And there's your handle. And so here you can add steam with curved lines like so. And you can add another steam line and just curve it however you like. And there's one short mug of coffee. Next, we're going to draw a taller mug right over here. So I'm just taking a straight edge, the closest straight edge item I have nearby that can help me draw a straighter line for this tall mug. So I want that mug to be right directly across from the other. So I'm drawing a straight line first. So another way to start drawing a coffee mug, you can start with the bottom and you can start with a straight line like I just did here. And then next for the sides, because this is more of a taller mug, the, the sides are more straight than the one we just drew. So you know what? Let me grab a pencil just to help me with this. And you can as well, if you have one nearby. If not, don't even worry about it. Use your marker. So I'm just taking this straight edge. If you have a ruler, that's great. Or anything with the straight edge. I don't want the line to go straight up and down and I don't want it to go too far out. It's a little slightly wider at the top than at the bottom. So that's why I want it to go out a little bit more and not be so straight. That's a little bit better. And then on the other side, I'll do the same thing. Let's get that line. Again, I don't want that line up and down. And if you make any mistakes, don't worry about it. Remember, there are no mistakes in art. So I do want this to be slightly wider. So I'm gonna try this again. There we go. And now what I'll do, I'll go ahead and grab my marker and I'm gonna use this straight edge again. I'm gonna go slightly over that pencil line that I just drew. I, wanted, I still want it slightly, slightly wider. So right about there. And just take that line right on up. And you see how it's not straight up and down? It's a little bit wider. So I just take from that point, I make sure that that top goes out some to make it wider. And then from here, I want to connect these two points side to, from one side to the next. So again, I'm taking a line that's not exactly straight and taking that right on across. 
And then for the other side of the top of the mug, I'm just going to curve a line from one side to the next. It looks like you're curving a line over the top, but the illusion is that it's the other side of the top of the mug. And again, we add our curved line for the liquid that's in our, in our mug, and you just fill that on in. And next, what we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and add our handle for this mug. Start right about here, bring that sh a short line out some, curve it down, bring that down some more. This is a, a slightly longer handle because the mug is longer. Bring that into that side. And again, you'll create that inside line following what you just created. And there's your, there's your handle for your tall, mug and from here you can decorate you can add more steam lines for to this mug like you did on the first and you can add decorations you can add hearts you can add spots you can just have fun be creative make it your own remember there are no mistakes in art you can always color over them you can create those lines or any mistake that you've made into something else that goes along with your drawing. So there are no mistakes in art. What I'm going to do, let's see. Just wanna show you how you can decorate them. You can write coffee. We're going to put a C. You can write coffee on either mug. And then with this one, I'm just gonna put a simple heart right in the middle. And again, have fun, be creative. You can, you don't have to write coffee on your mug. You can put spots, you can put stripes, you can put stars, whatever decorations you like. Remember, be creative, make it your own, and have fun. So I'm just drawing a line here with the straight edge to make it look like it's sitting maybe on a desk or a countertop. Yeah, that complements it well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like, please share it with a friend, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And until next time, friends.